Okay, this is a picture of the lock set that we use here. We use a deadbolt only, and then we use a passage lock for the other lock. So that way the tenant cannot lock themselves out of the house. They have to have the key when they leave the house. And um, each of these locks comes with a special insert, a core. I'll show you that in a minute. It also comes with three keys. One key will look like this one where it's marked with an MK, which is master key. There's a second key that is labeled control. It's a control key. That's the one that you can actually change the lock with. And then the third key, which I don't have one of, is numbered one through however many lock sets you have. And in our case, we have five lock sets, so they're numbered one through five. And uh, we would take a certain number and put those in here. So all three of the keys will work in this particular lock that you see here. The difference is that the numbered lock uh, or the numbered key only works with the locks on the individual tenant's property. The master key that I showed you will work with any of the locks we have, and that's what the property manager would use to get into the house. And then the third key, the control key, is the one that takes the core out. And I'll show you how that works. You just push this in, you turn it, and pull the cylinder out. And in, uh, you just take this, and this is a number three, you can see on the back side there. If you swap a number two in there, you will have a completely different lock in about 15 seconds. So that's how we do our lock systems on our properties.